Hey there, and welcome to the show. My name is Cliff Langston, and you're watching That Was History, a show about historical events and fun facts. If I may, let me ask you a simple question. In the last week, how many times have you picked up a physical newspaper and read it? What about in the last month? For most, the answer will be quite small in comparison to, say, someone from around 100 years ago. We are in the digital age, a time when almost everything can be accessed on a cell phone, a tablet, or a laptop, and now even watches and glasses. All of these are fantastic steps in the direction of a new age, but we here at That Was History shudder at the thought of forgetting those who have paved the way for all that we now enjoy. For example, on December 9th of 1793, Noah Webster, the same Webster whom we appreciate when we use a dictionary, founded the American Minerva. This was a daily evening newspaper that focused on supporting the Federalist political party formed by Alexander Hamilton in the early years. With the help of the American Minerva, which changed names to the Commercial Advertiser in 1797, the Federalists were able to stay one step ahead of the Democratic-Republican Party until the election of 1800. After this election, the Federalists dwindled and so did Noah Webster's involvement with the paper. By 1803, Webster stepped down and Zachary Lewis replaced him as the publisher. Throughout the rest of the 1800s, the paper would exchange leadership through roughly eight different publishers until the name would change again in 1904 to The Globe and Commercial Advertiser. This paper was eventually merged with the New York Sun in the 1920s, which would officially end what Time Magazine had described as the oldest daily newspaper in the United States. As I've mentioned before, we are in the digital age and I'm looking forward to all the technological advancements that are ahead of us, but I do want to challenge you, however, to pick up a few more newspapers throughout the week and reflect on the power that these simple daily papers can have. You'll be surprised what you will find in a newspaper that the internet still doesn't have. Thanks for watching this episode of That Was History. I hope that you learned something new, and if you did, be sure to take advantage of the digital age and share this video across Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. We'd greatly appreciate it. That's my time for today, and I'll see you again next time.